charge, guys, charge, guys. Excitement today as fans waited outside McGonagall Hall for their chance to see history. She broke the ceiling. There is no limit to what they can achieve as, as, as women in the United States. My idol, she's incredible. She has pushed far, so far, for women, and she's such an inspiration for girls my age, and she never gives up. After hours in the sun, they found their way to cooler ground. The energy electric, with chants and appearances by former Pennsylvania Governor Ed Rendell, Congressman Bob Brady, and Philadelphia Mayor Jim Kenney. This was an historic week for our nation and our great city. Philadelphia, we did real good this week. After speakers kicked off the rally, supporters were left to wait more than an hour, some sitting down. But then finally, everyone jumped on their feet once the presidential nominee, along with her running mate, Tim Kaine, emerged with their spouses. Every time we knock down a barrier in America, it liberates everyone in America. Her message, Positive. There is nothing wrong with America that can't be cured by what's right with America. While Clinton talked excitement on the campaign trail, she said on this very stage right here behind me that her main goal is to inspire kids to follow their dreams. I knew that every parent in this country could look at their son or their daughter and now say the very same thing. You too could be President of the United States. For now, the nominees will take their campaign to the road, making stops in Pennsylvania and Ohio this weekend, but it's a long road ahead, their eyes remaining set on the White House. Reporting for Temple Update, I'm Tiger Howell. Philadelphia's cigarette tax is raising millions of dollars for schools, but smokers and businesses are the ones feeling the impact. Updates Taggart Halk is in the newsroom. Taggart, what are people saying about the tax one year later? Becca, when City Council introduced the tax, some smokers on campus began to worry about what it would mean for them. It started as an effort to help the schools, but the tax's effects are being felt throughout the city. For smokers around the city, doing this has gotten much more expensive. The city passed a bill in October 2014 adding $2.50 to the cost of a pack of cigarettes. But the tax has convinced many students to go outside city limits to save on cigarettes. Obviously you can do just one trip and buy a carton or two or three and come back for the whole month. And businesses tell us they have felt the impact. It's affecting it's more than 50% on cigarettes and whole business also is getting down lower. It's very painful. While a drop in cigarette sales might be hurting local businesses, education is getting a much needed boost. Last year alone, the tax raised more than $50 million for schools and is projected to raise $58 million this year. But Carver High School principal Ted Domer says more needs to be done. We can't provide kids the attention that they need. So there's just when, when resources become thin like this, then, then there's only so much time in the day and there's only so much space. City Councilman David O, who sponsored the tax, is now telling Temple Update it is, quote, successful to the extent it used money it needed to keep schools afloat for a while. But he says it's something putting out the fire of lack of funding, not stopping it. Even the Philadelphia School District says taxing cigarettes is not what's important. It's not really a question of what kind of tax, but rather having sustainable recurring revenues that the district can depend on. Back around campus, Pant knows the tax benefits schools, but is concerned for his store. Because of the cigarettes, whole business is down also. Uh, and uh, we went to the city hall also, um, but they didn't listen nothing. Despite uncertainty from Pant, the tax will remain in place at least until 2019. Students I spoke with say they try to avoid buying cigarettes in Philadelphia, but they don't mind the tax. To some, it feels good to give to the schools, while to others, it's just one more incentive to quit. Phil and Becca, back to you.